let's talk about background concept about SQLI in so SQLI injection also known as SQLI is a common attack vector that uses malicious SQL code for backend database manipulation to access information that was not intended to be displayed like username password on the front page database credential database information this information may include any number of items including sensitive in company data user list or private customer details so how SQL injection works in order to run malicious SQL queries against a database server an attacker must first find an input within the web application that is included inside of an SQL query let's un understand this see let's take example this is a website test php dot vu lnweb.com you have to find the input parameter okay so I'm finding an input parameter let's a sign up page there is a sign up page yes so if I will sign up this this must they will store into their database so obviously this will be in what SQL like SQL query inside inside of an SQL query now in order for an SQL injection attack to take place the vulnerable website needs to directly include user input within an SQL statement an attacker can then insert a payload that will be included as part of the SQL query and run against the database server see this uh, if I'm trying here the backslash it's giving me an error that they are using double quote yes now if I'm doing double quote minus minus space it's fixing okay now if I'm giving order by here so this is a call the SQLI statement if I'm order by 10 see this it's working fine no problem but what if if I'm giving a single quote unknown column 10 so the vulnerable website needs to directly include user input within an SQL statement so see this my input is within an SQL statement an attacker then and it's uh, entertaining us basically according to my input they are entertaining me and they are giving me the response so this is all about the background concept about SQLI SQL may be uh, SQLI may be union based where union word when union command will work maybe error based where the according to error we will face the data then double query based we have to use concatenation for double query injections then we will see the blind boolean based we have to uh, find phase data through through true and false on the basis of true and false boolean based then there is also time based blind time based sqli for this uh, you have to <coughs> uh, insert a query for uh, like like let's let's example this single quote uh, or sleep 10 and if application will it sleep if application sleep for 10 seconds then there is a time based SQL so we'll see everything one by one I hope it's clear to you